Hey, so my name's Chuck. I'm going to play you some stuff that I've been doing in my bedroom in the woods uh, through lockdown because I was like, fuck, I could play you my really polished shit or I could play you my really scrappy nonsense. Because <laughs> why the fuck not? And I'm not getting any sound. <laughs> So bye, night. <laughs> right, I wrote this one when I was feeling particularly thirsty. <laughs> Is that coming through? Yeah. I got your taste in my mouth, whoever the fuck you are. I got your skin beneath my nails. I got your taste in my mouth, whoever the fuck you are. I got your skin beneath my nails. And I am stumbling on this dance floor, wherever the fuck we are. I am captured in this moment, wherever the fuck we are. And I
hardly know you So what are you doing in my head at night?
me. Hashtag see me. Hashtag validate 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 me. Why are we so afraid to share love? As if it has quantity and we need to use it sparingly. As if to admire makes you a predator. I'm unsure how that can stand as true when I am constantly in awe. From the way the leaves dance in the wind to the crunch they make beneath my feet. I never run out of ways to admire. Yet when I try to deliver this to people, I have been taught to hold back. I find it safer to say that I want your face between my legs than I do to say that I want your thoughts between my palms. I suppose I am a freak, a creep, a lonely boy with a perverted heart because the truth is I made the pillow talk. I want to hear you chat shit. I want to hear you fuck up. I want to hear you stumble over your own words nervously as our hearts beat faster. The wave of shame I felt when I wrote that line. But I challenge the shame. We are just humans. And when humans touch, their hearts beat faster. I'm not saying I want to marry you. I'm saying I want to be consumed in the space where we would meet. I want to explore you. I want to know the rhythm of your thoughts. Do they come in clumps and clusters or waves? Or do they throw themselves to the floor like lightning? I want to know what makes your toes curl. But I also want to rip the laughter out of whatever cage it is you claim it lives in. Caution is not doing me so well. And I'm not so sure it's keeping me safe because I am bored. I'm bored of pretending that it is just touch I need. When touch comes from the shallow pools of breath that beat the pulse into our fingertips. This is moving every the next sign. Time comes from the shadow balls of breath that beat the pulse into our fingertips. We've been taught that love comes from some almighty being. So much easier when I do this to my dog. <laughs> to say that I want to get to know you feels like an act of violence. Yet I can say that I want your bites on my neck. And trust me, I do want your bites on my neck. Who can shame primal instinct? But isn't love in our guts as well? We live in a world that has taught us that love is on a sliding scale from obsessed to possessed. Do you know what I think? I think the English language is purposely lazy because imagine what we could be capable of if we could understand one another. Only now do I see it for its simplicity. How much of it I had how much of it I need but we found it in the cracks where we were allowed to meet but now we've been pulled apart and put in our cardboard castles call me intense if you like if it keeps you safe but the more I play this tame game of how to play it cool the more I deny myself this freak this creep this lonely boy with the perverted heart. Thank you. Let's keep it going. But stop. Yes, going.